All right, our logical structures are designed. Let's get to going. Giddy up. You guys now have the concept of region, site, and tenant, and how you can use that to organize kind of your data model within, within Netbox, right? So now let's zone into our first site, and you guys know I love working from the OSI model bottom up. Now, when most people think of the physical layer of the OSI model, they think of cables. I'm, I'm even lower than that. I want, to, I want to start from the rack level. So you can see right now, I've got uh, Netbox in here. I've got one region, that's Arizona. And one site, I'll, I'll just click on it, uh, one site in Arizona called Newport Charter. Uh, some of you know I, I uh, run a managed service provider that, that focuses in on education. So this is literally going to be one of the schools that we manage actually out in uh, Anthem, Arizona. So, so Newport Charter, uh, you can see when I click on that, I have all kinds of options and I can, I can click on this and add my first rack or I can go up to organization and click on racks and add one that way, I, which, which I'll do right now. So I'll say the site, it's gonna be Newport Charter. We'll call this uh, MDF Rack 1. And, and again, your naming convention is totally up to you. Uh, I'm going to say the status is active and just, just add this guy in, right? Create my first rack. Now you can see this evolves to a line sketch of the front and rear of the rack. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh, add a device. We're actually not even going to get to that in this video because it opens Pandora's box of configuration options. And I really want to make sure you do it methodically and well so you don't have to come back and correct it a thousand times. The thing that you need when you're creating your rack is a photograph of it, a good photograph. You don't want to be sitting in the MDF with fans blaring, trying to you know, line it all up. Here's what you do. Go to the rack, scroll down to the images and attach an image. And everybody's got a phone that takes like insane level photos, right? So what we'll do uh, MDF, uh, let's just say big picture. Uh, so this is literally uh, the picture of our school out in Anthem. They have, it's a, it's a charter school, smaller school. This is, this is their MDF. They have one big rack. I'm going to click create and add another. Boom. There we go. We'll, we'll also have uh, MDF front view. You want to have something that you can see uh, really close what's in that rack. So I'm going to choose that one. And then, uh, then we'll do a, uh, let's do, I'm just going to add one more. Just, you, you've got the idea, right? MDF rear view and uh, choose that. And, uh, you know, obviously we would have better, it looks like, <laughs> looks like we have multiple uh, views of the rear. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take the, the, the first one that I see right here actually uh, looks like that one right about there. Looks like a good one. So we'll just, again, create all of those. And now you can see in the lower left corner, is all of the images that you can just hover over. You can click on them and boom, it opens up in a new tab, a new window, uh, where you can you know, zoom in and, and see all of that. And now we can begin adding our equipment, right? And, and again, that's why we want that closer view is because I'm like, oh, what is that? You know, from, from this view, we can't really see. However, uh, let me get back to my normal zoo. As, as I look at my front view and, and zoom in here, I'm like, oh, okay, I can see exactly, uh, whoa, what, what, uh, what that device is and, uh, you know, even get, you know, that kind of resolution, get serial numbers and part numbers and things like that. That's it. Literally, uh, the only thing I want you to do in this, in this video is to go in and add a rack. You're going to see in the next videos, just how deep Pandora's box goes as we start to, uh, uh, add devices to that rack, right? It, you're, and you're, I think it's going to blow your mind of like, wow, Netbox is really, really big. So let me, let me stop drawing and, and talk. Uh, take a picture you saw of your physical rack. So you have it, multiple pictures, individual items in the rack. And I want you to create the rack in Netbox and add photos to it. Now, I know some of you are sitting at home right now doing this. Maybe you don't even work for a company. Maybe you're just like, okay, I just want to learn about Netbox. Great. Go take a picture of your house. You know, I'm assuming you've got a switch in your house. Just do something where you can, you can add this device in and start really learning to work with it. If you don't have a rack at home, go buy one. This is your excuse to tell your spouse, I really need one of those. You know, Jeremy told me I need, I need to add one inside of here, right? Add the rack, add the photos. Next video, we're going to start adding in uh, the individual devices to our rack. It's that simple.